My name is Josh Androsky. I'm here with David Bory. Hey. He's a comedian, he's super hilarious. I'm also here with David Jetty. Hi. He's one of the smartest people I've ever met. A public bank is a bank owned by a public entity. The basic idea is that the city can, or, or the state, can take its deposits, rather than putting it in a bank, can put it over here and it can make loans locally. That's gonna improve the economy nearby. Sure. You can also set standards for a bank like that. You can't tell Goldman Sachs, I mean, you could try, but you can't tell Goldman Sachs really not to invest in fossil fuels, not to invest in child prisons. There's no reason for them to listen. Yeah, why would they? Especially if they're making a profit, right? It right. If you're not a shareholder, you don't matter. Oh, not even a share, major shareholder. Right. Like, the, the public market gives this illusion that corporations are somehow publicly owned or distributed ownership. But if you look at the concentration of those shares, right. they're owned by big institutional investors like pension funds, very rich people. And it's those pension funds, like the LA City Employee Retirement Center, System has millions of dollars invested in Philip Morris. There's no ethical understanding of where those investments go, and it's the same with the bank. And we're all like, wow, it really sucks that all this bad is happening, and yet we are subsidizing it. Yeah, we're paying for it to happen. Right. Now, if you build an institution that has a mission basis, even the most paltry mission, like make loans in Los Angeles, you necessarily cut out a bunch of evil stuff and you focus it in on something that matters to the bank more than profit. But more importantly, you can set limits on say, it has to reverse climate change with every loan. It has to lower rents by making loans in these ways, right? They can devise programs that create opportunities and raise wages and lower income and wealth inequality, It'll lead to prison reform, right? By cutting off bank funding for private prisons, you make it less profitable to put people in jail. 